Welcome all to SST College of Arts and Commerce. This is SST Edupedia. Myself, Assistant Professor Yogesh Patil from the Department of IT and Computer Science. Today we are going to discuss the topic for TYBSC Computer Science, subject ethical hacking and today's topic is types of attacks. So, students, we have already seen the different types of attacks in that what is watering hole attack. Now as you can see in a diagram what is watering hole. This attack is a security exploit in which the attacker seeks to compromise a specific group of end users by infecting websites that members of the group are known to visit. The goal is to infect a target users computer and gain access to the network at the target's workplace. The term watering hole attack comes from the hunting. Rather than tracking its prey over a long distance, the hunter instead determines whether the prey is likely to go. Most commonly, a body of water, the watering hole and the hunter waits there. When the prey comes of its own will, often with the ground guard down, the hunter attacks. Now same in the same way, watering hole attack in a cyber world, it takes place and the target victim can be individual or an organization or a group of people. The attacker profiles it targets, typically employees of large enterprises, human rights organizations, religious group or government offices. To determine the types of website they frequent, these are the often messaging boards of general interest. Now uh, we can see few examples of watering hole. Like uh, in 2012, several sites were compromised including the US Council on Foreign Religion or foreign relations. The attacker used the ghost rat exploit and it was known as an boho attacks. Similarly in 2016, Canada based international civil aviation organization, they have spread the malware that infected the US nations network. In 2017, Ukraine government website were compromised to spare expert malware. In the same way in 2019, many religious and humanitarian websites were compromised to attack a specific Asian communities. This is the way or these are the examples for watering hole attack. In the same way, as you can see the, the other attack is brute force attack. Now what is brute force, brute force attack? A brute force attack is nothing but a trial and error or to guessing the login information or uh, encryption keys or to find a hidden web page. Hackers work through all possible combinations hoping to guess it correctly. In this attack, these attacks are down by brute force meaning they use ex uh, excessive forceful attack to try and force their way into your private accounts. It's just nothing but we are trying to open the lock by using several keys we have and by guessing that key will be uh, fit perfectly to that particular lock. So this is an old attack method in which uh, the user continuously trying to try the systems or the user's account by specify or by the list of passwords. This is old technique but still it is very effective and popular technique. Now uh, let's see the an example by guessing a password or uh, just like a guest 1234 or xyz 123 abc or password 123. These are few guessing password by this way user or sorry attacker is already always try to attack or always try to open the emails. So next attack is an phishing website attack. As you can see in a diagram, 
phishing in phishing website attack attackers create a replica of the original website and the victim is trying to visit the particular website or authenticate website instead of that the victim opens a phishing website now in phishing website what happens whenever user enters its own information attacker or the hacker steals that information and attacker use that information to an original website for example if i have an account in particular bank for example xyz bank and i open an website of xyz bank which is a replica of that original website if i use my credential over there attacker note down those credential and then attacker use those credential and by using those credential it is opening my account from the original website by this way they can transact and the data as well as the account might be used misuse uh, might be misuse now the next attack is eavesdropping now what is eavesdropping attack in this attack the or this attack is also known as a sniping or a snooping attack and this is nothing but we are in this attack we are thefting the information as transmitted over the network by a computer or a smartphone or a connected device the attack has advantage of unsecured network communication to access data as it being sent or received by its users in recent year increasing uses of voip system and ip based calls so in that what happened with voip system the lack of encryption communication are easier to encrypt or decrypt the data so they are encrypting that with the tdm based phone calls so hack hackers can choose and record the calls without being detected by any other participant on the call and while a lack of encryption can make user data or your data and information vulnerable even system that use encryption can be insufficient in protecting against the eavesdropping attack usually specialized software and encrypt tools hacker can easily convert digital voice files from standard codec into the audio files pcs and other devices have microphones built in and these can be enabled as a listening tool without awareness of the device owner likewise the speaker phone function on ip phones can make businesses vulnerable to interruptions it can be activated remotely allowing hackers to listen into an entire office without inhabitants knowledge now next attack is man in the middle now man in the middle is also known as an mitm attack now this attack is a general term for when a pre predator position himself in the conversation between the user and the application either to eavesdrop or to impersonate one of the parties making it appear as if normal exchange of information is underway now the goal of attack is to steal personal information such as login credential account details and credit card numbers target are typically the users of financial applications sss business e-commerce site and other website where logging is required now information obtained during an attack could be used for many purpose as including identifying theft unproving fund transfer or illicit password change now how we can prevent from this type of attack so we can block the several practical uh, website so for that what user can do they uh, we can avoid the wifi connection uh, which is freely available and which is not having any password protection 
uh, user can ping an attention to the browser while notification uh, notification has been received or they can report the particular notification as a malware immediately login out of from the secure system application it it will be a great practice then uh, user should not use a public network like coffee shop hotels or any other so because there is a chances of stealing sensitive information from that network now the next is session hacking now what is session hacking the session hacking attack consist of exploitation of the web session control mechanism which is normally managed for the session token because http connection user made different tcp connection the web server needs a method to recognize every user's connection the most useful method depends on the token that web server sends to client browser after successful client authentication as you can see in a diagram the session token is normally composed of string of variable width and it could be used in different way like in the url or in the header of http requisition as in cookies in the other part the header header of http request or any other body or any other meta tag or other things we can use so the session hijacking attack compromising the session token by stealing or predicting a valid session token to gain unauthorized access to the web server the session token could be compromised in different ways the most common are predictable session token session snipering client side attack that is uh, used by javascript code or trojans or xss etc even middle uh, man in the middle or a man in the browser attack is one of the example of session hacking or by that way we can also make a session hacking so this is all about the different type of attacks we have in a computer science so uh, thank you sir much for uh, listening this session hope you learn a lot from this session and it's a kind request please subscribe our channel thank you thanks a lot